Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be talking about the final book in the Mistborn trilogy, Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. Now, this will be a spoiler-free review, but I will be mentioning at the very end something that made me cry, and I will go ahead and put like a spoiler warning and then I'll let you guys know when you guys can come back. But that is not till the end, but there will be spoilers, but don't worry. I'm not just going to drop them. You will know well in advance so that you can mute, click off, all of that good stuff. Go ahead and grab a drink, a blanket, some snacks, and let's get into the review. All right, so just to recap you on what happened in the last book, and this will be a spoiler if you have not read the first and second book. If you haven't read either of those two books, I don't know why you're here. This is the last book in the series, so at that point, you're just wanting to spoil yourself, but there's nothing like new in this. But where we left them off was from Vin and Eland at the Well of Ascension and Eland becoming a Mistborn and Vin releasing Ruin. The book takes place months after this event, so you don't get to see like Eland being trained by Vin or anything like that, which was kind of disappointing, but that's kind of... Brandon's, what do I want to say, Brandon's style, he always does, he always will do like months after the last book, you get to catch up with everybody. This book was so good, it's not my favorite in the series, in the trilogy, it's probably my, actually it's my third favorite, my first favorite's the second. And then my second favorite is the first book. But this book was really good. And something I always say about Brandon Sanderson, to the point it probably might be redundant, is he does politics and magic and story elements in such... Just, he just does it right. He does it in a masterful way. His creativity with all the different religions, just how do you come up with that? And some of them seem crazy and then he kind of like explains it. And you're like, I could, I could understand seeing that as like a religion, maybe not today, but like way back in the day, how people might have thought that way. And I'm just like, how, how do you come up with these things? And with his politics is he makes them so believable. He makes them diverse. It's not just the good guys versus the bad guys. It's we have to convince X, Y, and Z thing to do X, Y, and Z. X, Y, and Z person to do X, Y, and Z thing. And then they kind of confront that person. And that person's like, yeah, like, cool. Like, I kind of agree. But X, Y, and Z thing is, is holding me back. And... It's almost like real life politics of, you know, we can see a similar goal, how we get there is a little bit different. And it's just, I don't know politics very well. And so to read a book that was mainly focused on politics, if you're looking for an action pack, packed book. This one was not it, in my opinion. I think that this one was much more focused on politics. And then at the end is when you get all the payoff scenes and the action. So, but what I did enjoy, Brandon keeps people guessing. Brandon keeps you hooked. Even if nothing's really happening, he puts breadcrumbs all throughout his novel, all throughout like all of his novels like they all like kind of build toward this and you know I'll have that character in that land and that character over there in that city and they will all be finding out stuff that makes your brain go wait how does this connect to the puzzle how does this connect and the main characters don't know it but the side characters do and you're like oh my gosh does this go with this or that with that and you're just like how does this all connect and then you get there and his his payoff scenes are some of the best payoff scenes I have ever had. The reason being is because he makes you want to know what's happening and he, he gives you just enough to keep you guessing and 
excited. And then when the payoff scene happens, like you're like, oh my gosh, like, yes, like it's a payoff scene. I'm so excited. And then, and then he just takes it and then makes the payoff scene explode. Because then the character's like, oh, I understand it now. Like, this is what was happening. This is what was the motive. And then it's like, boom, he just pulls something out of left field and he's like, and also this. And you had no idea. <laughs> and, oh, um, it's just, his payoff scenes are the best, I swear. He keeps you interested in politics and things that usually, like, would give a second book slump. It's almost like he's setting up the payoff, but he does it in such a, such a way that you don't get bored and you're very interested in. And I just have to, like, that's, I mean, that's high praise in my opinion because they're all kind of just sitting around talking about war and he makes that interesting. A, a person who can do that gets an A plus in my book. So I will give this book a five out of five. Um, it's not my favorite because it was more political than action and I kind of just wanted action. And how the book ended, I'm not gonna spoil anything quite yet so you're safe the ending was so I was okay with it I I was okay with it it made me cry really hard but I was satisfied it was a very satisfying ending um and it made me cry so hard and it wasn't what you thought that I would be crying at so let me get into that. I'm going to go ahead and get into spoiler talk. It's like one thing. It's one little line in three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to look up this this little line for you guys. But spoiler is both Vin and Eland die in this book and that's so sad, yes, like, oh my gosh, but, like, Vin was okay, Vin was like, you know what, he deserves to die, like, that sounds mean, but if you've read the book, obviously you have, um, it's like, no, like, like, bringing him back from Well of Ascension was just a patch, like, I needed to get, you know, let him go a long time ago, and now he's finally at peace, and she was really okay with that. But, um, the tears came when, sorry, I'm trying to look it up on my Kindle here. When Spook comes up and they find Elin and Vin and they find the books and the line is, you know, like I've, sp I've spoken to, you know, our friends and they're okay with staying where they are at and give me one second i'm gonna find this find this oh okay so the line was i'll give you context i have made you misborn and heal the damage you did to your body by flaring tin so much i hope you don't mind that did not make me cry what made me cry was this i'm gonna cry it was actually counselor counselor's request consider it a parting gift from him and that just makes me cry I don't know the deaths of Vin and Elin didn't make me cry but that that like Kelser Kelsier and Spook interaction just killed me I was like 2 a.m when I finished this book and I was just sobbing in my bed at 2 a.m and it was so sad okay Spoilers over with that, but highly, highly recommend the Mistborn series. This is going to be one of my favorite fantasy series of all time. I'm excited to get into Brandon's other works now that I have finished this one. I want to start The Way of Kings, I believe it's called, and then The Trust of the Emerald Sea and all of his new books that he has coming out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and a like. 
And don't hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one.